Okay, so kicking off day two of the squat challenge. So here you're just watching what I usually do for a warm up. Um, yeah, it looks a bit funky, but I'll usually just take the bar, do five to 10 repetitions, um, and then hit some dynamic stretches. Literally just stretching out the lats a little bit, stretching out the hamstrings, hip flexors, um, just by holding on and getting into that core squat position. And then just going more into a, a stiff legged deadlift like you're about to see in a second. This just warms up everything, warms up the back, sends a lot of blood to the places it needs to go to. Um, and straight away on to 135 or 60 kilograms. Um, again, just getting comfy, um, just releasing some of the stress that I had from yesterday. Had a bit of a tight lower back this morning, so uh, just went in again, warmed up with 60. And this set here, just 70 kilos. Again, just getting comfy, getting used to wearing a belt because I'm not comfortable with wearing a belt. I've never really used one before. Um, there's always, there's a technique of using a belt. And for, for me, I literally just went on YouTube and searched uh, Corey Gregory, how to use a belt, and he'd put it on there already. So basically, push you take a big breath in as you as you take the bar out and then from there very simply at the bottom just have the breath inhaled and push out into into the belt so that basically it helps you with uh, getting the bar back up so very simply we're already a little bit way through getting nice and comfy to set two, so 80 kilograms. Here, nice and simple, just getting into the hole, getting out of the hole. Again, just getting used to the belt. Feel, felt a little bit weird at the start, but seeing on the screen here the progress, yeah, it was it was quite easy. Um, by this stage, I was a bit looser than yesterday. So here's me just literally using all my strength to kind of strengthen the, the belt up and it took me three or four sets to, to get used to using it I didn't feel like it was it was it was doing much it was just working on my back and it was just a bit boring to have it on should we say so make sure that you tighten it up a lot harder than um, just a couple of notches so set three 90 kilograms just um, five repetitions here nice and simple so again a little bit a slight inversion of my right ankle as you can see but again it's something that I can't I'm not going to be able to sort out in in the next 30 days um, one thing that I will be working on is definitely trying to push my knees out at the bottom instead of letting them buckle in slightly um, that's something again that Corey talks about in, in the notes so very very simple just try and force your knees out and push up, keeps your chest up, and go from there really. So on to set five, on to 100 kilos now. So now really focusing on taking that deep breath in at the start on the movement, and really pushing against that belt to come up. By this stage I was, I was nice and warm, found it relatively easy, but still an RPE of like seven or eight. So still going quite hard, um, but definitely finding it a little bit easier than um, if, if I didn't have the belt on. So here's my usual setup, so it takes a little bit of time, get myself focused, get myself underneath the bar. As you can see now, I look down at my feet, just make sure they're even, make sure I'm comfy, um, look up into the mirror, and then from there, head neutral, try and get down into the hole, back nice and straight, and then again, try and force my knees out so I'm nice and comfy. So set seven, so last set of <clears throat> the three repetitions. Again, looking down, getting comfy, taking a big breath in as you see. And from there, yeah, nice and comfy. So I'm gonna let you watch these raw clips and, and just see how I go. Okay, so 
so as you've just heard, always find out from your spotter, always communicate with them just to make sure that um, you're comfortable with them spotting you, you know where they're going to hold you. For example, my spotter there held me underneath the, the elbows because that's where I wanted him to be. Nice and comfy. Um, I needed him there just to just to basically have, have the confidence of if I'm not going to get back up, he's there to do it. But I'm very thankful for the spot. Obviously, he was doing his own thing. I just walked over and said, can you spot me? And the gentleman that he is literally just did it. So last repetition, this is a, a one rep max PR at close stance. So very, very happy with what happened here. So day two complete. Tomorrow, day three, we'll see what we do. And of course, just follow me on everything. Comment, subscribe, whatever. So guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Very good. Very good.